Oh, so this is what that heifer Cardi B is crying about. So let me read these two TMZ articles to you guys. First one comes from May 2nd of 2019 titled Offset is being exploited over fan smashed phone. Here's the role. Offset was minding his own business when he was accosted by a guy who's now trying to get famous and score a big payday, according to the rapper's lawyer. Drew Feinling, that's for the record, that's Tommy Lee's lawyer. Or at least he was. I don't know if he still is. Drew Feinling tells TMZ the warrant issue for Offset's arrest for allegedly damaging a fan's phone is, quote, disgraceful and should be dismissed immediately. Because he says the whole case is a load of baloney. Stop making me think about food. Finally says the incident went down while Offset was, quote, simply trying to buy some items for youngest child at Target. Offset's lawyer points out the guy whose phone was allegedly shattered, Junior Gibbons, waited four days to file a police report, and this so-called victim instead took to social media for an extended 15 minutes of fame, end quote. He adds... There's been no investigation and no evidence to show Offset caused the damage to Gibbons phone. For the record, there's a video of Offset striking the phone, clearly. I mean, he walks up to it and boom. He just, and anyways, I, I, that's, that's pretty, pretty clear. We broke the story. A felony arrest warrant was issued Thursday for the phone smacking incident. Gibson claims after Offset slapped it out of his hand, it fell to the ground and shattered. And then they posted a picture of the shattered phone. It show sure is shattered, boss. It show sure is. Gibson tells us his main objective in filing the police support was simply to have Offset paid to replace the broken phone. And he doesn't want him arrested. Junior says he's surprised a warrant was issued. But cops did follow up with him after he filed a report to confirm details and the cost of the phone. They also posted this story on May 2nd of 2019 titled Offset Arrest Warrant Issued Serious Felony. Let's get on into this. Offset is in a heap of trouble because a warrant has been issued for his arrest and it's a felony. They didn't say it that way. Let me try this again. And it's a felony. TMZ broke the story. A week ago Monday, Offset was in a Target store in Sandy Springs, Georgia when a fan eyed him pulled out his cell phone and tried taking a video of the rapper <laughs> shopping after he checked out. The fan, Junior Gibson, said, what's up, Offset? And that set Offset off. The video Gibson shot shows Offset smack the phone out of his hand, and he says the instrument crashed to the ground and broke, shattering the screen. <laughs> Offset, <laughs> y'all like my sound effects? Let me know in the comments. Offset also allegedly told him, quote, get that effing phone out of my face afterwards then exited the store before turning around and saying i pity the fool like mr t back in the day on the a-team okay they didn't say that part about mr t and a-team i just added that because of for comedic effect junior filed a police report last friday cops investigated and got a warrant it is a felony because the phone cost eight hundred dollars dang that's more than most of y'all's rent reaching the felony threshold and cops <laughs> say it was intentional listen y'all do you know what I could do with $800? I know what y'all nasty evil people could do. Hookers and blow. That's not what I'm thinking. What I could do with $800 is I could get some of y'all's nasty, crusty feet and lips done. I could get y'all's lips exfoliated. I could get y'all some new foots. Niggle it. Listen, I can think of all types of things I can do with $800. I could take some thoughts out to dinner. I, you know, I, I could take a a, 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 a a plane flight somewhere to go see some thoughts. I, I could get some liquors. I, I could do a lot of things with $800. So I don't know about y'all, but that's a grip. That's a lot of money. I've never had an $800 phone before because, you know, I, I just I, I refuse to pay that much for a phone personally. But if, if you're willing to do that, then that's up to you. It's your money. I don't really care. Because I don't value money, I value booty. So let me know what y'all think about it below, man. Do you want to see Offset go down for this? Or do you think that he should be let go? Like how y'all need to let go of y'all ex. And how y'all need to let go of that fork. And how y'all need to let go. Well, y'all need to grab some, bre some breath mints. But... Let me know what y'all think about it below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on the Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell. Then that way you'll receive alerts when new videos get posted. Do you think Offset should be let off? Or do you think they should hop up on Offset and slap them cuffs on him and haul him off the jail 
in his freshest blouse and skinny jeans. Because you know how he dresses. He dresses like a girl. But what do you guys think, man? Let me know what y'all think about it below me magazine. Now, this Negro, you know, I don't really give a dang about Offset, but he did just have a bait. Well, Cardi B pushed out the baby technically. Shout out to Culture, the only innocent person in the story. And, you know, I, I, you know he just had a baby with, with Cardi, so I, I don't want to see him go to jail. He has too much going on in his life, too much going on in his career. So, believe it or not, I actually wish this Negro the best. Believe it or not. I know that sounds crazy. Like, me, you, are you sure? Yes. I, could you imagine him in jail with his skinny prisoner uniform on? Uh, you know, he, he's now altered it and made the pants all skinny. He done turned uh, that button up into a blouse. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't imagine. You know, he had his dreads pulled into a ponytail. Yeah. I don't want to see Offset in jail.